And so I want to ask Pastor Jeff, would you come up, please, and stand by my side? And uh, I want you to know I just appreciate you and been praying for you. But uh, Pastor Jeff, I've got a, a, a shepherd's staff, and I just want to ask you, will you accept the charge as a shepherd to be the spiritual leader of this flock? Did you hear him? He said, I will. I love that. And so I want to present this to you, but may this shepherd staff, may this shepherd staff remind you to lead, to guide, to accept, or to care for the people of LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. I want to ask you, congregation, will you, members of this church, accept, support, and uphold Pastor Jeff as your shepherd. Amen. I love it. Amen. And Pastor Jeff, will you continue to study the Bible, preach the word, and prepare others to be Christ-like disciples and even do the work of an evangelist? I will. I love that. You know, I love, I love evangelism. I've grown to love it more and more and more. And uh, we evangelize all the time at, at our home, when we're on our walks. We evangelize, do our very best in our neighborhood to talk, talk about Christ. And, you know, we, we, we have a few pet snakes at our house. I know it's kind of crazy. Some people think, you have a snake? Well, we have five snakes in our house. And, uh, you know, every now and then we'll take our snake, you know, and we'll take our snake with our little dog to the parks and we're walking. And... Uh, you know, kids come running up and they say, wow, look at that snake. They come running up. Can, can I touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. We, one of our snakes is about five feet long. It's a python. And um, so, you know, my daughter sometimes will take it off her neck, you know, and the kids will play with it and touch it. Can I, can I hold it? And moms now are coming taking pictures of it. As a result of our, we call it snake evangelism because now we have a family that's coming to the church because of the snake. <laughs> and uh, we've just been witnessing and talking about the Lord. And I just want to say, we are called. And that's what Jesus did. Remember the, 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 those guys like Peter, James, and John, and Andrew? They're fishing. Throw their nets in to the waters. And Jesus comes and says, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Oh, I love that. And I brought, it's not a big one. I'm not going to catch a lot of fish with it. <laughs> but it's a reminder. It's a reminder. You see, because... I want to present this, Pastor Jeff. May this fisherman's net remind you to follow in Jesus' example by making fishers of men. Take this with you, please. <laughs> Pastor Jeff, will you, with the help of the Holy Spirit, serve the Lord with gladness as you've also served the people here in Los Angeles? Amen. You know... The night that Jesus was betrayed, you know the story. Because Jesus came in knowing he was going before the cross. He knew that within just a few hours. He knew that he would not sleep that night. He, he knew that he would soon be betrayed. He would be handcuffed and taken away. Having a trial, then going to the cross. And at that night, before he had his last meal with his disciples, he came into the upper room. You know the story. And all people of homes in that time who had servants working for them, people, they walked the dusty trails. They, were all, they didn't have, you know, covered feet like I have my shoes covered. They had sandals the dusty trails and so people would walk into the home and the servant would come and and then would scoop down and and then stoop down and then would, would begin with water washing everyone's feet dry them off with a towel that's what the the, the, the ma master of the home never did that the owner of the home didn't do it was the servant who did that and, and they come into the upper room and these disciples are talking they don't really have a clue what's going to happen they're getting ready for their meal, and then Jesus goes and grabs the water basin, and he begins to wash the disciples' feet. And Peter says, hey, what are you doing? Jesus, no, <laughs> you're the master. And Jesus continues to wash. 
And then he gives them these words. <laughs> May you do likewise. I think what a great example that is for me as a pastor. What a great example for all of us pastors. What a great example that is for all of us in the church. And that's why I say, Pastor Jeff, may this basin and may this towel remind you of the Lord Jesus Christ in the night when he was betrayed, how he served his disciples in love by washing their feet. Please take. <laughs> Pastor Jeff, having committed yourself to this work, I charge you to care alike for the young and for the old, for the strong and for the weak, for the rich and for the poor. And by your words and by your life, proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to ask that your wife would come and join you, please, right here by your side. And I just want you to know that uh, as a couple, you know, sure, the church has called Pastor Jeff to be the shepherd, to be the leader. But you work as one. God is with you both. And I want you to know that I'm praying for you both. I know the church is praying for you both. And so as you stand up here together along with each other, because you're committed to this journey together, it's not just you, it's not just you, it's together, together, together. So church, will you affirm that you along with Pastor Jeff, his family, together you can make a difference in this community? You can follow the words up on the screen that I've printed out for you. Will you support this pastor with respect, loyalty, love, and fervent prayer? Will you give sacrificially of your means so that Pastor Jeff can be relieved of the temporal cares of this world and so be able to give full attention to prayer and to the ministry of God's word? Will you respond to his pastoral leadership by vigorous participation in the life of this church as it carries out its mission to make Christ-like disciples in all the nations? Church, since you have willingly and prayerfully called Pastor Jeff Guia to be, to work among you, I charge you to willingly and prayerfully support, cooperate, and work together with them in the name of Jesus Christ, whom we all serve. <laughs> Would you please stand? And I want you to turn and face the congregation by the power vested in me as superintendent of the Los Angeles District Church of the Nazarene. I do announce to you, LA First Filipino, that having committed yourselves to mutual covenants, Pastor Jeff Guia, and the LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene have entered a new and solemn relationship, that of pastor and people. Please welcome your new pastor. Amen. 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 Lord bless you. Thank you. Thank you.